In a shocking turn of events, Brittany Cartwright has officially filed for divorce from her husband, Jax Taylor, bringing an end to what insiders describe as a tumultuous cycle the couple has been trapped in for months. According to a close source, Brittany's decision to walk away from their five-year marriage was anything but easy, but it was a move she felt was absolutely necessary. There's been so much that Brittany just couldn't overlook anymore, an insider shared with People. She wrestled with this decision, but in the end, she's confident it was the right choice for her and their son. At 35, Brittany is putting her three-year-old son, Cruz, first making this difficult decision with his best interests in mind. The legal documents obtained by Page Six reveal that Brittany cited irreconcilable differences as the reason for the split, setting the date of their separation as January 24, 2024, just one day before her birthday. Interestingly, Brittany also asked the judge to waive spousal support for both herself and Jax, whose real name is Jason Couchy, and requested legal and physical custody of Cruz, allowing Jax visitation rights. Just hours after filing for divorce, Brittany was spotted receiving a delivery of alcohol, a move that hints at the emotional toll this split has taken on her. The news of their separation first broke in February, and Brittany later opened up about the reasons behind her decision. According to her, Jax's drinking had spiraled out of control, turning him into someone unrecognizable. He'd drink too much and become as mean as a snake, she revealed. Jax, who has never shied away from discussing his struggles with mental health and anger issues, checked into a facility for treatment last month. His representative shared with Page Six that Jax is taking this time to focus on healing. Jax has always been open about his mental health battles, especially in recent months on his podcast. He's committed to getting the help he needs. The former Vanderpump Rules star is determined to come out of this stronger, not just for himself, but for his son, Cruz. As the dust settles, all eyes are on Jax and Brittany to see how they navigate this challenging challenge chapter in their lives. For now, the couple is asking for privacy as they work through this sensitive period. Jax Taylor is reportedly grappling with a whirlwind of emotions following Brittany Cartwright's decision to file for divorce. According to sources, while Jax recognizes that this split might be the best path forward, he's struggling with the reality of it all. Jax knows this is ultimately the right decision, but that doesn't make it any easier an insider told People. It's been a tough, emotional month for him, and he's doing his best to stay strong, especially for his son. Brittany, who felt compelled to make this heart-wrenching decision, did so with the well-being of herself and their three-year-old son Cruz at the forefront of her mind. There's been so much that Brittany couldn't overlook anymore, the source continued. She knew this was something she had to do for the sake of her and Cruz's future. The divorce filing, which happened just over five months after the couple announced they were taking time apart, was a step Brittany didn't take lightly. In her petition, she requested primary custody of Cruz and asked the court to bar both her and Jax from receiving spousal support, a clear signal that she's focused on creating a stable and independent future for her son. Since moving out of their shared Los Angeles home in February, Brittany has remained steadfast in her commitment to providing the best possible environment for Cruz. I'm taking things one day at a time, she said during the announcement of their separation on their podcast, when reality hits with Jax and Brittany. I don't know what the future holds, but right now, my focus is on being the best mom to Cruz. In March, Brittany opened up further, revealing that one of the driving forces behind her decision was Jax's lack of effort to make the changes she had been asking for. I've asked him for a while to do certain things, and nothing has come from that, she told TMZ. When you've been fighting with someone for so long, there's only so much you can take. I deserve better, and Cruz deserves better. Brittany's determination to prioritize Cruz's well-being became even more evident in April when she addressed concerns from social media trolls. Despite the public scrutiny, her focus remains on her son's happiness and stability. As for Jax, he has yet to publicly comment on the divorce filing. However, it's clear that he's also trying to make changes in his life. Since late July, Jax has been seeking treatment at a mental health center, a move that seems motivated by his desire to be a better father. Shortly after the news of his rehab stint broke, Jax shared a touching photo with Cruz on his Instagram story, writing, "'Trying to get better for you, buddy. Daddy loves you so much.'" Brittany Cartwright is stepping into a new chapter of her life, focusing on reclaiming her confidence and self-worth amid her divorce from Jax Taylor. Just hours after filing to end their five-year marriage, Brittany took to Instagram, radiating confidence in a stunning photo that left her fans and friends cheering her on. Getting my sparkle back, she captioned the glamorous close-up shot, where she was seen wearing a hot pink, low-cut top that perfectly complemented her bronzed complexion. With her long, highlighted hair cascading in voluminous barrel curls and her makeup on point, complete with long lashes and a sultry nude lip, Britney's sexy stare said it all, she's back and stronger than ever. 
The support from her friends and former co-stars was immediate. Shiana Shea from Vanderpump Rules couldn't resist dropping a line of sparkling emojis and the words, shining bright baby. Show alum Dana Cathayan chimed in with, and we love to see it. While the Valley star Nia Sanchez wrote, yes, love you, Queen Brit. Zach Wickham also expressed his admiration, commenting, stunning love you so much. Brittany's bold post came shortly after she filed her divorce petition at the Los Angeles Superior Court, officially marking the end of her marriage to Jax, whom she wed in a fairy tale ceremony in Kentucky back in June 2019. In the filing, Brittany cited irreconcilable differences as the reason for the split and listed their separation date as January 24, 2024. As she moves forward, Brittany is making it clear that her son Cruz remains her top priority. She requested full legal and physical custody of the three-year-old while granting visitation rights to Jax. Brittany is also seeking to retain all assets she acquired through gifts, inheritance, or during their separation, signaling her intent to build a secure future for herself and Cruz. The couple, who once shared the screen on the Valley and co-owned a sports bar called Jax's Studio City, seemed inseparable. They even co-hosted a podcast, When Reality Hits, where Brittany first announced their separation back in February. Reflecting on the challenges of marriage, Brittany opened up to their listeners saying, Marriages in general are very hard, and I've had a particularly rough year this past year. Jax and I are taking time apart, and I made the decision to move into another home to take some space for the sake of my mental health. The truth behind their split came to light during the season one finale of The Valley, which aired in June. Brittany revealed to her castmates the tipping point that led to her decision. He was going out to the bar and stuff, coming home and having these horrible hangovers that would make him mean as a snake, she shared. Finally, after he's already been screaming at me for hours, I packed me and Cruz up and we got the hell out of that house. Before entering treatment, Jax Taylor openly admitted to struggling with serious, serious anger issues. This candid confession came after a tumultuous period in his life, which Brittany Cartwright revealed in the season one finale of The Valley that aired in June. During the episode, Brittany shared with her co-stars the harsh reality of their situation, describing how Jax would turn mean as a snake while battling frequent hangovers, a behavior that ultimately contributed to the unraveling of their marriage. According to an exclusive source from Page Six, Jax is 100% on board with moving forward with the divorce. It appears that the former Vanderpump Rules star had emotionally checked out of the marriage long before Brittany filed for divorce on Tuesday, citing irreconcilable differences. Our insider reveals that while the dissolution of their five-year marriage is, of course, sad for them both, it had become clear that they were not a good match. The source added, their vicious cycles needed to stop for the sake of their son. Brittany, who is seeking sole legal and physical custody of their three-year-old son, Cruz, is willing to grant Jack's visitation rights. The Valley Star has maintained her distance from her estranged husband throughout their separation, which was first confirmed in February when she moved out of their marital home. Despite Jax's attempts to work on himself, including a recent stint in a mental health facility, Brittany has been focused on protecting her peace. Jax entered treatment in July, with his rep stating that he was seeking help for his serious, serious anger issues and mental health struggles, which he had been candid about on his podcast. However, since leaving treatment, Brittany has continued to keep her distance, although she plans to allow Jax to visit with Cruz. As their marriage crumbled, Brittany was vocal about the lack of intimacy and how she basically did everything for the household, including being the primary caretaker of their son. Since declaring her independence, she has been reclaiming her life, gushing on social media about getting her sparkle back and enjoying nights out with friends, including co-star Zach Wickham. In a final move of freedom, Brittany was spotted ordering some booze to her residence before hitting the town, proving she's ready to embrace this new chapter of her life.